Have you ever wanted to buy stocks on the Jamaica Stock Exchange and wondering how you can go about opening your equity account to get started? Well, in this video I'll be going over the process of what is required to open your account with two brokers that I personally use. They are NCB Capital Markets and Jamaica Money Marketing Brokers, also known as JMMB. A little fun fact, did you know that the Jamaica Stock Exchange was ranked one of the number one performing stock exchange in 2018? The article was written by Michael D. McDonnell on the Bloomberg's website. The article speaks of Jamaica's spectacular stock market rally as the best of the last 5 years. You should definitely check it out. I'll try to make this video as concise as possible just giving you the required documents and the process of submitting them. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The first broker we are going to look at is NCB Capital Market. The set of documents you are going to need for NCB Capital Markets are Two pieces of identification, one of which must be a passport. The others can be like a state ID, a national ID or a driver's license. Number two, a tax registration number or an equivalent like a social security number if you are in the United States. Whatever you use for taxes within your country, this is the document that is required. You are also going to need a proof of address. You can use a utility bill whether it be an electricity bill or a water bill or a postmark envelope to meet this requirement. Ensure that it is no older than 3 months. The account opening documents. This form will capture all the personal details that is required to open your account. You will need to take the time to ensure that the form is filled out accurately and make sure the email is correctly spelled and this is the main point of contact for your broker. You are also going to need a proof of income. You are going to need to provide proof of income with your application. You can use a recent pay slip, a job letter or a bank statement showing your salary. If you are self-employed, you are going to need to complete the self-employed verification form which will be available in the description. You are also going to need a character reference, one of which must be from your local bank within your country. And remember, a reference cannot be a family member. You are also going to need an authority and indemnity form. This form is very important because it will allow you to authorize your broker to act on your behalf whether it be you want to buy or sell a share. This will allow the broker to execute instructions from you via email or phone. Like any other broker, you are also going to sign a disclaimer form. This will allow you to authorize NCB Capital Markets Limited to act as your broker for the Jamaica Stock Exchange trading platform. So these are some additional documents that you are going to need. A self certification of residency, a proof of address, master retail purchase agreement, a W8BEN form, and I will leave all these forms in the description below. So you don't have to figure out which one is which, just complete all of them. And it's very important before you submit these documents, you have them notarized by a JP or a notary public within your country. This is very important. The next step after you complete your documents and have them signed, you're going to have to FedEx them or mail them in to NCB Capital Markets, the Atrium, 32 Trafalgar Road, Kingston 10, Jamaica, West Indies. Now let's take a look at the requirements for opening an account with Jamaica Money Market Brokers Limited, also known as JMMB. To start buying stocks through JMMB, you're going to need to open an equity money market account, also known as EMA. The EMA account is the first investment account of its kind in Jamaica. To get started, you are going to need a minimum investment of 10,000 Jamaican dollars or 500 US dollars. What makes this account stand out is that your money will, will earn competitive returns in the money market until you decide which stocks you want to buy or equity products you want to invest in. This is really great because your money is already working for you without you doing any form of investment. This is absolutely great because I mean your money is already working for you without you doing any form of investment. It pretty much allows you to maximize your returns for greater profitability by moving money between equities and the money markets. Another great thing with this account is that you can allow for automatic dividend reinvestment on this account. So now let's look at the documents required for opening an account for an adult at JMMB Group. You are required one valid form of identification, unlike NCB where you need two. This can be a driver's license, a passport, a national ID, a resident card, or a citizenship card, plus a birth certificate or adoption certificate. 
you're going to need two character references as well. You're only going to need the telephone numbers and name for these references. It's important to note that relatives or joint account holders may not provide references and any of the following can be used. A justice of peace, a medical doctor, an attorney at law including a parish judge and justice of peace, a chartered accountant, your current employer, police at the rank of inspector or above, an army officer at the rank of a major or above, a minister of religion, if you know a JMMB client for one year that works as well, and a JMMB team member of one year and above. The next piece of information required is a tax registration number. For all Jamaican clients over 18 years old, a tax registration number is required. And for all non-resident clients, a national reference number like a social security number if you are in the United States is required. Whatever you use for taxes in your country, that is the number that will be required. You are also going to need a proof of residential address. This may not be older than 3 months and is required for each person if you are doing a joint account. You can use any of the following documents. A current utility bill whether it be an electricity bill, telephone bill, water bill or a mobile phone bill. It's very important to note that the service address on your bill must correspond with the address indicated as your residential address. You can also use a credit card or a bank statement, no older than 3 months again. And you can also use a letter from your employer. And if you can't find any of those, the back of your national identification card can be used as well as a letter from a justice of peace. That's a quite a lot of options to choose from. You're also going to need the source of funds. We need to provide the source of funds being used to open an account as well as the projected source of future investment or deposit. Proof of income is not required. You're also going to need to complete the following documents and submit along with your application. The equity money market account schedule form, the JMMB dividend mandate form. This form is very important as it mandates where you want your dividends to be sent to, a non-discretionary plan form, a risk tolerance questionnaire form and a W9 form. These are all the forms that you're required to complete for your application. All these forms will be available for you in the description or on my Google Share Drive in a folder. So just download all of them and have them completed and signed. Once you have completed and signed all your documents, you're going to need to have them notarized by a notary public or justice of peace. This is very important. Do not miss this step. You're then going to scan and submit the documents to new client at jmmb.com. Once that is done, you will be contacted within 2 to 3 business days by a phone to do a verbal verification of the request to ensure details provided are correct and the forms are accurately completed. Once the verbal verification process is completed, you will then be required to mail the original forms along with copied supporting documents to the following address. And boarding support unit, JMMB Group Limited, 68 Grenada Way, Kingston 5. When opening an EMA account or an account with NCB Capital Markets, it's very important to complete the dividend mandate form. It's so you don't have any challenges with receiving your dividends when they are being paid. If you open an account with NCB Capital Markets, you have two options to trade stocks. You can use their platform or the JTrader platform. With JMMB Moneyline, you will only be able to buy or sell stocks via their platform. Just a reminder, I will leave a summary in a Word document or a PDF in the description so everything will be there for you. Look at your screen now and how to buy stocks in Jamaica, one using NCB Capital Markets and one using JMMB Moneyline. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.